How to create a warp zoom out effect in After Effects. This process is quite simple and adds an impressive touch to your edits. But how do you make it? Let's dive right into the video. Firstly, you will need some clips, which is quite obvious. Next, apply some effects to these clips by navigating to the effects and presets panel and searching for the S Warp Transform plugin. Add it to the two clips where you want the warp zoom out transition. Now, let's create keyframes. Click on the first layer and then press O to jump to the end of the clip. Move about 15 frames back. This doesn't have to be exact. Just experiment. You can navigate frames using the page up and page down keys on your keyboard. At this point, create a keyframe for Zdist at its default value. Move to the end of the clip and change the value to 1.9. Feel free to adjust this to see what looks best. Then, smooth out the keyframes by pressing F9 and open the edit speed graph editor to mimic my adjustments for optimal results. Next, add the Warp Fizz Eye plugin by going back to the effects and presets panel, searching for S Warp Fizz Eye and applying it to the first clip. Select the layer, press U to display all the keyframes. Then, set the keyframe for amount at zero at the first set disk keyframe. At the end of the layer, where the other set disk keyframe is, set the amount to minus 0 0.45. Repeat these steps for the second clip. And serving the keyframes for set dist. Align with those in the first clip. Experiment with the initial set dist file to see what suits your clip best. Select both keyframes and apply easy ease with the shortcut F9. Then go to the edit speed graph for fine tuning. Add the S Warp Fizz I from the effects and presets panel. Create a keyframe for amount at minus 0 0.45. At the beginning of the clip and another at the end where the set disk keyframe is. But set the value to zero. To enhance the effect, add some motion blur. Find the RSMB plugin and the effects and presets panel and apply it to both clips. For an even smoother look, consider adding an adjustment layer with the brightness and contrast plugin applied. This will give your warp zoom out effect an extra touch of quality. And here we go. Now you've created a very nice warp zoom out effect and after effects. This all what you need to know thanks for watching this video subscribe if you want more tutorials like this